Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jake and today I have something pretty different for you. So I was just kind of roaming around the world. You know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out everything in this game so that I can bring you guys as much information about Elden Ring as I possibly can. I think I have about 120 hours in the game at this point, uh, which is like right in the middle of the pack, I would say probably a little bit more than the usual casual player. And I was I was just exploring Stormvale Castle and I came across this area over here to the right that I'm not sure is so secret. Like, I'm sure tons of people have found this area over here. You drop down, you take a little bit of damage and there's this pretty elusive underground area over here. And, and this isn't going to be the topic of this video. I, again, I'm sure most people have seen this. At least I haven't. Uh, until I started exploring around in my new game plus three. We've got some uh, some ruined statues down here. It's kind of like a forgotten part of the castle, it seems like. And, I, and I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute. Got some rats down here to deal with. No big deal. Got a big rat over here as well. Bleed is OP. And again, there's just like ruins around like ruined buildings, ruined statues, ruined parts of the castle down here. Like something happened, like something exploded through this area. And then I came across this. Now, when you drop down here, I'm not sure if it's going to spawn again. I really hope it doesn't because I hate fighting these things. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's one of those giant worm things that looks like it's not going to respawn. I'll, I'll show you a little bit of a clip of it. But after you beat these things and you start looking around, you're like, what? What is this down here? Like what? What am I looking at? It's just like these kind of coffin boat type things with, you know, lit, you know, lanterns everywhere. And then, you know, like a, like this was covered like with a tarp, this whole area right here. And I start making my way this way. And there's this guy. Now, I don't know what this is. It's kind of disturbing to look at because that's very clearly a nose and these are very clearly eyes. And when I hit it, it bleeds. Now, it's not the katana. I even tested it. I can test it with another weapon if you want to. Um, it bleeds. No matter what I hit it with, it bleeds. So either it's clearly alive somewhere in there. I don't know. But off of this guy right here, you receive an item. It's a talisman called the Prince of Death's Pustle. Pustle? I don't know how to say that. But the description says a fetid pustle taken from facial flesh. And it raises your vitality. Vitality governs resistance of the effects of death. It is said that this pustle came from the visage of the Prince of Death. He who used to be called Godwin. As first dead of the demigods, it's said he's buried deep under the capital at the Erd Tree's roots. And I started to remember when I was doing Fia's quest line, I feel like I really recognized this, this creepy face that's sprouting what looks like squid tentacle root things coming out underneath it. How did it get down here? Why was it being clearly covered up? There's a ladder here. Now this ladder is extremely, extremely long. Like it goes way the hell up. So they clearly knew that this was down here, whether it fell down here or a battle happened, that it just created this massive crater in the ground. What happened here? What? Why are they trying to cover this up is all I think of. We're starting to get, I mean, this ladder just never stops. It just keeps going. Something clearly fell down here. It kind of reminded me of Radon's uh, shooting star coming out of the ground. Totally forgotten area. Like you can't get up here unless you went the direction that I did, like the path that I did. So I'm just wondering what that is. And then I remembered I've been to the Erd Tree roots before. I, I know where that is. So if you go underground and you will eventually get here, you will get to the deep root depths and you'll find the Prince of Death's throne. And when you get here, something looks very familiar. Look right over here. That right there. That looks pretty familiar to me. You can take a closer look with the telescope here. That looks exactly like what we saw down below, except it actually has, whether he's alive or not, I don't know what this is, but he's definitely got eye sockets, or he's got eyeballs in the eye sockets and they look dead. 
He's got the same little, like, pimple <laughs> at the top. He's got the same nose, the same, like, flakes coming off the back. So apparently, I mean, this is... This is Godwin. That's who this is. Th this is Godwin. And he's connected to this... I mean, through Fia's questline, obviously. Is her body still here? Yep, her body's still here. I didn't kill her, but D did. The the guy named D in the Round Table Castle, he kills her. And she said that she was going to lie with Godwin. And if you look here, I mean, this looks like a fish, like fish scales or maybe even a snake of some kind being wrapped up again in some sort of cloth. I mean, very clearly we have a connection to these two faces on the ground that we've seen. I'm very curious of what you all think this means or who this is and, and how this happened. How did he get down here? Did he unshell his face? Like, is he a snake where he can, you know, take himself out of his skin and shed his skin and, and go somewhere else? Like, who, who knows, man, in these games? What is that up there? What is that? That looks like a ring. Is that a hand? Yep. Wait a minute. Right there. You, it's it's kind of hard because I can't get the lighting on it very well, but that's clearly an arm coming out, and that's some kind of ring with a that looks like maybe a tiny thumb and some fingers. This is very strange. I I didn't really notice this in my first two playthroughs, but now that I'm really exploring everything in this game, there's some connection between here and whatever was underneath Stormvale Castle, obviously. So, again, I'm really curious what you guys think of this. Let me know down in the comments, and let's let's try and figure it out together. Peace and love, everybody. Have a great day.